sciences uh, in the last year has uh, started presenting uh, major poets, uh, ones with uh, either big international reputation or ones American poets who I believe are major writers in this country. And at the moment, like, what else is happening be besides Bukowski? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, he's, he's in the tradition of Henry Miller more than uh, Hemingway. Uh, I mean, I think he's really going to make it big as a uh, national, international writer. Well, we'll bring it off. A lot of people out there? Yeah, a lot of people. Got to bring it off then, right? There's no choice. I'm enough of a bastard to carry it off, even if I feel bad. I'm gifted. I don't know where it comes from, but it's there. Okay, it's 25 to 9. You know, it is easier working in a factory or something, to an extent. There's no pressure. You might lose your job, but I think I made a mistake here somewhere. It was my main bitch. You create art in a lonely fashion to be your... Once you create it, you're done with it. The state shit is bad. It's, it's really bad, instinctively. It's really bad. I don't feel good about it. They're there to see you die. They want to see blood, vomit. They want to see you fail, they want to see you succeed, they want, to, they want the, the whole bag of you. They want to see your intestines, everything. It's bad shit. What am I doing it for? Okay, you're winding up around the corner. I'm winding up around the corner. You have a little pot on the stage I can vomit in? <laughs> yeah, we'll no, I'm not kidding. Okay, Cheap Italian up. wine, man. You guys really fucked me up. Okay, we got the poems. We got the cows. Let's go. There we go, folks. I'm in great shape. Down here. Here we go. Oh shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Bukowski. been drinking some bad wine. <laughs> so I may have to leave sideways or something else. Really bad stuff, one of your little Italian restaurants up the street. They, could, they put a cork in the bottle, but they... Amplitude, do you hear me? All right. I look good. <laughs> okay, let's get started. What the hell? Come on. Let's collect our money and get the hell out of here and really make it. Number one. Law. Look, he told me. All those little children dying in the trees. And I said, what? And he said, look. And I went to the window and sure enough, here they were hanging in the trees, dead and dying. And I said, what does it mean? And he said, I don't know, it's authorized. The next day I got up and they had dogs in the trees, dead and hanging and dying. And I turned to my friend and I said, what does it mean? And he said, don't worry about it. It's a way of things. They took a vote. It was decided. And the next day it was cats. I don't see how they caught all those cats so fast and hung them in the trees, but they did. And after bacon and eggs the next day, my friend pulled his pistol on me across the coffee and said, let's go. And we went outside. And here were all these men and women in the trees. 
most of them dead or dying. And he got the rope ready, and I said, what does it mean? And he said, it's authorized, constitutional, it passed the majority. And he tied my hands behind my back, then opened the news. I don't know who's going to hang me, he said, when I get done with you. I suppose when it finally works down, there'll be just one left, and he'll have to hang himself. Suppose he doesn't, I asked. He has to, he said. It's authorized. Oh, I said, well, let's get on with it. God, all you guys belching and puking. You guys are drunker than I am. What the hell? <laughs> Jesus. like a symphony or like a classical song or something. You don't use it as a downer, you use it as to leap up into the sky when you're in pain or when, you're, when you have depression. You use it to, to get yourself out of the common... I'm so tired of people who are sober every day. I can't understand people who are just walking up and down sober. And they, they live and they got their lives and never get drunk, they never get sick, they never have hangovers. You just go around drinking fruit juice, eating eggs, bacon, uh, cauliflower. They never get up, they never get down, they never get sick, they never get high, they never go crazy. Style. Style is the answer to everything. A fresh way to approach a dull or dangerous thing. To do a dull thing with style is preferable to doing a dangerous thing without it. To do a dangerous thing with style is what I call art. Bullfighting can be an art. Boxing can be an art. Loving can be an art. Opening a can of sardines can be an art. Not many have style. Not many can keep style. I have seen dogs with more style than men, although not many dogs have style. <laughs> Cats have it with abundance. When Hemingway put his brains to the wall with a shotgun, that was style. Or sometimes people give you style. Joan of Arc had style. John the Baptist, Christ, Socrates, Caesar, Garcia Lorca. I've met men in jail with style. I've met more men in jail with style than men out of jail. Style is a difference, a way of doing, a way of being done. Six heroes standing quietly in a pool of water. Are you walking out of the bathroom naked without seeing me? Do I know you? Don't push me around, baby. I'll I'll take, never mind. <laughs> One more beer. I'll take you all, all of you. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. I knew, okay, I want you to hate me anyhow. Get on, I'm getting bored, baby. <laughs> So am I. I'm getting bored with you. <laughs>